Hey, it's Bridget. Welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. We're on location. We're at the river. We're on the floaty dock that I like to walk down to and sometimes can find some solitude. With the miniature waterfalls cascading down across the river. You can hear the dam in the background rushing the water from the reservoir above. It's beautiful here. Sunlit, but shaded by green lush trees. It's perfect. I love this place. I have my journal in my lap and my favorite writing pen. Some water, a couple of bottles of essential oils, the priestess one and the honor oil. My tennis shoes with my Rocket the raccoon socks stuffed inside because of course you know I have dipped my toes in the water more than a few times. This simple way of clearing, of letting go, is something that I've begun to do often the past few weeks. I have really been allowing myself to deepen in and go within like the labyrinth within me for a personal healing journey. You know this because you've seen me on Bridget Inspired on Instagram since the end of May sharing about this and the different places I've been outside in nature. Actually two, to two labyrinths I've been, an outdoor sculpture park in the forests and very enchanted to the lake, to the bike path and the bike trails by the river. So many beautiful, natural, meditative, sacred container healing spaces. Not that far from my home, actually. Why? Why all of this? Because the world is a mess. And so too am I. The outside world, the reflection of the inside world within us, each and every one of us. Which is why the labyrinth is particularly important. The energy of going within, walking into ourselves again to meet in the middle, in the center line of alignment. To which we need to be remembered at our core stripping away all of the noise of the outside world as I sit here with the backdrop of the rushing waters from the man-made dam, from the man-made reservoir pouring into the river that existed here before. These two things cohabitate just as you do with a spirit and an energetic body and awareness in the actual very real human world that is filled with war and sickness and economic struggle. In so many ways, there are so many challenges that seem so oppressive, depressive, confining, restricting, and sad, hard, difficult. Yet the truth of the matter is inside, you have been feeling this all along. Like it is hard, it is difficult, there is struggle to be yourself, to be in your fullest alignment, to be simply at the center of your core, at your own inner sanctuary. That is why the outside world is so tumultuous and such a challenge right now because the inside world has become one. But there's good news here. There's good news. You get to choose a lifestyle of healing. It is not an event or a one-time thing or reserved for ascended masters like Jesus to touch you or chosen few who are psychic healers. It is for you to know yourself so deeply, so intimately and personally that within your own confidence is inside of your body. You love yourself back into your fullest light. This is where there is potential and capacity to renew and rekindle your dreams, to build and birth new ones into your own personal awareness first and then after your own inner weaving together of what you desire, what you 
would like to experience, what you want to express from the inside of yourself outward into the world and share into the world. To which you get to discern what you want to save and what you want to share. And not everyone gets all of you. But you do not anymore have to parse and parcel yourself out and cut pieces away from you to hand to other people so they can have you. Life is not, and it was never intended to be about that in our human bodies. The code of embodiment is part of this renaissance that we are all experiencing through external intensity of energy. Not just rocking the boat, but flipping it over as you're going down the rapids over and over and over again. Unexpected. One thing after another, after another, layered upon layered upon layered. It is a conscious collective here, clearing, which gives you the opportunity again to choose a healthy and healing lifestyle. This isn't easy. This isn't easy at all. It was never intended to be easy. But there is ease here. The gentleness of the energy of the water, it pools in spots on this flowing river. It calms and it swirls into little pockets of peace, which is exactly what exists within you, pockets of peace. In the center core of your being, That is what exists. There is ease. There is grace. There is gentleness. There is pure loving flow of energy in your natural state. Yes, as a human, with a spirit, acknowledged, aligned, connected. It's true. And it is here and it is now. It is in the moments the small, beautiful, abundant moments that present you drops of joy. The spice of energy boosts your vibration. Brings you moments of pure, unencumbered connection. First inside and yet catalyzed by the nature of the outside world, the beautiful sun, the gorgeous clouds, the heavy rains that come to clear and purify, the winds that move energy of change, the support you have from the stars at night and the moon cycles as she moves through the month, encouraging you that she too and you will change. This is a time of deep transformation and opportunity for ascension, but not to leave the body, not to leave the human experience behind, but rather to root in, to double down, to go deeper into the human expression of what is love, unencumbered, not just unconditional, but unrestrained and not restricted, but simply the pure state of bliss. Just like the sun rises each day, so too do these moments of bliss, joy, come to you through presence where you can feel, touch, sense, smell, taste beauty. This will inspire you to simply be available to each and every moment, each and every new breath, an opportunity to deepen in, to expand, to broaden your capacity inside for your own healing expression. The receivership of this kind of love and awareness is yours. And it is here and it is now and it comes again and again and again and again. Through awareness, it will bring you opportunity. So come and sit with me here on this floating dock at the edge of the river and dip your toes in. Ooh, it is chilly. (laughs) Yes, it is. 
It's a little chilly. The coolness of the water just creates such a invitation for release and engagement with Earth, Mother Gaia. Natural clearing is available to us all. Natural healing is available to us all in each moment. Allowing your energy to flow, that's healing. Allowing yourself to take a deeper in-breath and a bolder exhale, that's healing. Healing through connection in the moment to moment to moment to moment allows you to be present and allows you the gift of awareness and allows you to find your center core and feel ignited by life, renewed, hydrated, the raw core of your being, filling you up from your feet, up into the legs and into the low belly, across the hips and up, up into the gut, that sacral womb space and up into the solar plexus of the sun chakra by the belly button and up into the rib cage, filling you up with life affirming energy. Breathe it. Feel this healing lifestyle here and now, right here and now. Breathe in. Be bold in your exhale. Release. Release and be fearless in your capacity. Know yourself. Release the crap that you don't need. Let the energetics go and flow in the water element. Purified. Honored, flowing movement, natural rhythmic motion. It's easy. Feel it. The wind comes up to support the release. Surrender, surrender. Deeper breathing, more wind. Your personal healing journey is the choice to be healthy, present, and with your wellness centered, connected, and strong from within you. And that is when, that is when you will know your truest self. That is when you will be reunited with your authentic self your true spirit. This is Bridget. It has been my pleasure to record this Sunday morning coffee episode for you today. Here by the river's edge, choosing to be present within Connected, whole, and alive, filled up with life, here, now. Thanks for listening.